So we're based out of the UK and Taiwan. Okay. And then we're manufacturing here in Dubai okay. uh, with the partner. And the manufacturing here in Dubai. Yes, we, these these half scale prototypes have been manufactured here. Yes. Wow. Where is it based in Dubai? Uh, in Sharjah. In Sharjah. Yes. Well, I thought it was based in Europe. Yeah, so the R and D uh, and brand and design are all based in uh, the UK and Taiwan. So we do R and D in Taiwan. Um, but yeah, we work with a partner here in Sharjah. Uh, to so, manufacture them. So basically, you are trying to fly. You are trying to fly your first model here in Dubai. Uh, potentially. The plan. The plan is to fly the first model here in Dubai. But it could be. Okay. Yeah. So up to now, what is the stages of uh, certification that you received, or design specification, uh, or development into the real product? How far have you gone? With it? So we're still very much in development. Okay. Uh, we're at how? Obviously, we've. These are functional flight test models. We were flying this one, Oryx, earlier this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we are exploring uh, advanced lifting body aerodynamics okay. and flight control. Uh, that's the, the primary premise of what we're looking at for, for, for this generation. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's going very well, that testing. We also have a full scale model in development at the moment. The full scale model is in development. In development, so what yes. What percentage of scale is this? This is about half. Okay. Yeah. So, so this stand is about six meters long. Okay. So full size would be about six meters by three, three and a half meters wide. So basically, how many passengers are we looking at in this case? So this one is based off of a three seat uh, layout, but the full scale is based off of up to five. Five. Yes. So it will just be like a normal small car. Yeah. And uh, how long? What would be the range once it's fully developed? So fully developed range, we're looking about an hour's flight time. And that is uh, sort of around 80 to 100 kilometers. 80 to 100 kilometers. And uh, how, how high in terms of altitude? Three to 5,000 feet. Mm-hmm. And what is the speciality of uh, the people needed to fly? Because you're developing it for commercial purposes, right? That means it will be used by everybody who yeah. can drive a car. Yeah, so, so we're looking to be fully autonomous when they're, when they're used. So uh, the require, we want the barrier to entry to be as low as possible. So that's why we're, we're exploring full autonomy. autonomous. Yes. So therefore, anyone will be able to just come in and what would be the training for those who will fly? Like today we have driving school. Yeah. We know most people can drive, but you go to, go to a driving school and then yeah. get your license and then you are legally allowed to drive. What of this? So for full autonomy, you're looking at something pretty low, low entry. So um, in terms of what licensing and, and regulations are actually there, they're, they're not there yet. Um, but yeah, we're keeping that barrier to entry pretty low. When are we looking at it, like? So the commercial application you were talking about yes. for, for civilians, that's 2030. 2030. Yes. So we have a bit of a timeline. Um, with some models before then where we yeah. can build up certification, we can build up uh, exposure and uh, public acceptance. So are you going to get certification from, to like today the aircrafts, they are certified from General Civil Aviation Authority here yeah. in UAE. So are you working to get certification with the General Civil Aviation Authority? Yes. Or are there other government authorities that would certify it? So it would, it would be under similar things to, to what things are certified under today. So CAA, EASA. EASA, yeah. GCA. Yes. And uh, what... What type of technicians do you think will maintain this type of, uh, because it's a new concept? Yeah, so so the technology inside exists. It's ducted fans, battery electric. So we're looking at uh, technicians in, the, in those kind of areas. So are we looking at automobile uh, engineers or aircraft engineers to maintain it? I imagine there would be a hybrid, uh, yeah, a hybrid between the two. You have to understand, yeah. this isn't a typical air- aircraft, but it's also not automotive. So, uh, but there are skill sets within each industry that we can pull from. So, majorly aircraft engineers will be in position to operate it more or maintain it more, right? Yeah, potentially. They have to have understanding of the industry that we're in and the regulations. Yeah. And, yeah. It's a great idea. Uh, how much would it cost to any start operating of this aircraft? So, for fully autonomous in sort of 2030, 
we're aiming towards sort of more like 500,000. Um, How much? 500,000. 500,000? 500, yeah. For yes. one? Yes. One model? Yeah. 500,000 dollars? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. A great idea. We're looking forward to it. Yeah. We're waiting so. for it to start flying. Yeah. Well, we're, we're hard at work with it and we're, uh, we're still going. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I hope when it starts flying, I hope maybe I'll be in a position to see the first one take off. Yeah. And it will be so exciting being someone with aviation background and aircraft engineering materials background. I'll be very excited to see the first flying cars taking off. Yeah, most of probably in Dubai. Yeah, that's uh, it absolutely. will be a great opportunity to see. Well, we're, we're regularly asked to do demonstrations, and yeah. uh, when we deem it appropriate, we will definitely be, be uh, exploring that in the future. So, how do I get to track the advancements in this? So you can keep tracks on our social media and on our website. Mm -hmm. um, on our YouTube channel, we, we do release uh, certain animations and, and video content of mm -hmm. our progress, our mindset, the way we're thinking about things. But yeah, our website and social media are the, are the best ways, places to, to stay in contact. Thank you so much. Yeah. My name Thank is you. David and you? Ben. Ben. Nice to meet Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah.